Good day, people. Uh, I am Ryan, Angel's over there, and we're going to read a little poem. You might get the theme from the little plate here, but here we go. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of sugar plum danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled in for a long winter's nap. When out on the row, roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, threw open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature rain but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick i knew in an instant it must be saint nick more rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name now dasher now dancer now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house, the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, heard on the roof, prancing and pawing of eight, each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and he smoked and encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a nod of his nose, of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.